No justice after 33 years after Tiananmen incident. Human Rights Watch says Chinese authorities have increased harassment and persecution of activists commemorating the 1989 Tiananmen massacre. The Chinese government should admit to murdering pro-democracy protesters. Hong Kong authorities have detained and punished individuals for commemorating Tiananmen. 26 pro-democracy activists, including Joshua Wong, media magnate Jimmy Lai, journalist Gwyneth Ho, and former lawmakers Leung Kwok Hung, Keed Ho, and Andrew Wan, were detained for participating in the 2020 vigil remembering massacre victims. They got 4 to 15 months suspended or in jail. Human rights lawyer Chow Hang Tung was sentenced to 15 months in jail in January 2022 for participation in the 2021 Tiananmen Vigil. Chow has served a year for attending the 2020 Vigil. Vice Chairwoman Chow organized the annual Vigil for the Hong Kong Alliance in support of Patriotic Democratic Movement of China. 2020 and 2021 are off limits for the Victoria Park Vigil. Police invaded the Alliance-run June 4 Museum in September 2021, three months after closing it. Hong Kong universities removed Tiananmen monuments. The University of Hong Kong dismantled Pillar of Shame in December 2021. Jens Galshit sought to repossess the artwork, but shipping firms feared government reprisal. Students protested the eviction using an invisible flash mob. Chinese University of Hong Kong and City University of Hong Kong removed Goddess of Democracy, monuments styled after the 1989 statue in Tiananmen Square. Lingnan University removed a Tiananmen mural. As in prior years, mainland authorities preempted massacre commemorations weeks before the anniversary. Members of Tiananmen mothers, families of massacre victims, and activists including Hu Jia, Gao Yu, and Zhang Lifen have had their mobility and communication limited. Yu Weiji and Zhang Xianling, whose husbands and sons were slain, stated foreign calls were prohibited. Hubei Provincial Court in July 2021 convicted Yin Zuan, an anti-corruption campaigner, to four and a half years in jail on allegations of causing unrest. Authorities cited Yin's Twitter picture referencing the anniversary as evidence. Yin had a stroke in 2022. Zhang Wuzhao was sentenced to two and a half years in jail for commemorating the atrocity. Chen Yunfei, a 1989 Tiananmen protester, was sentenced to four years in jail in December. Chen got four years in jail for arranging a horrific memorial event. Huang Qi, a Tiananmen protester and activist, is serving a 12-year term for leaking state secrets. Beijing lifted COVID-19 regulations at universities in May to avert Tiananmen anniversary demonstrations. Authorities restricted same-day Tiananmen Square bookings from May 25 to June 15, citing pandemic dangers. Chinese authorities have intimidated Tiananmen student leaders abroad. In March, the U.S. Department of Justice disclosed that five Chinese government operatives had tracked and intimidated U.S.-based adversaries, including Tiananmen student leader Xiong Yan, a House candidate. The Chinese government has rejected local and international demands for justice for the Tiananmen massacre, and certain EU and US sanctions have been lessened or circumvented. The lack of a sustained, coordinated, international response to the massacre and crackdown is one factor in Beijing's increasingly brazen human rights violations, including the mass detention of an estimated 1 million Turkic Muslims in Xinjiang and the imposition of national security legislation in Hong Kong that suppresses fundamental freedoms. In April 1989, students, workers, and others gathered in Beijing's Tiananmen Square and other Chinese cities to demand freedom of speech, accountability, and an end to corruption. In late May 1989, the government declared martial rule in response to the escalating demonstrations. On June 3 and 4, PLA forces murdered many non-violent demonstrators and bystanders. In reaction to military aggression, 
Beijing residents assaulted army convoys and burnt cars. Human Rights Watch researcher Robin Munro reported the next day's situation. Following the executions, the government detained hundreds of individuals on counter-revolution and other crimes, including burning and disturbing social order. The government has never claimed responsibility for the murders or punished anyone responsible. It won't investigate or provide statistics on people slain, wounded, forcefully disappeared, or imprisoned.